January 1st, April 29th, August 26th, December 15th, Mercury at greatest western elongation, in the first celestial event of the year, the smallest planet in our solar system will reach its greatest separation point from the Sun referred to as Mercury's greatest western elongation and be best placed for observation in the dawn sky. The planet will be at its highest point above the horizon on three more occasions in 2018. January 1st, January 31st, Supermoons, stargazers will enjoy a treat on New Year's Day as the first supermoon of 2018 will illuminate the night sky. The phenomenon occurs when the full moon coincides with its closest approach to Earth in its orbit. The natural satellite will appear much larger and brighter on January 31st as well. The stellar event is also known as the full wolf moon, old moon and moon after Yule. January 3rd to 4th. Quadrantids Meteor Showers The January meteor showers are believed to be a result of debris from the extinct comet 2003 EH1 falling into Earth's path and subsequently disintegrating on entering its atmosphere. An average of 40 meteors per hour can be seen, which will peak on the night of January 3rd to 4th. January 31st, July 27th, Total Lunar Eclipse This event occurs when the Moon passes through the Earth's dark shadow called the Umbra and appears blood red in color. The total lunar eclipse will be visible in most of Western North America, Eastern Asia, Australia and the Pacific Ocean. The same phenomenon will occur on July 27, which will be visible in Europe, Africa, Western and Central Asia, the Indian Ocean, and Western Australia. February, Black Moon, in the entire calendar month, there will be no full moon. This phenomenon happens once in every 20 years. The months of January and March have two full moons instead. February 15th, July 13th, August 11th, Partial Solar Eclipse. The phenomenon occurs when the moon shadows only part of the sun. The first partial solar eclipse will be visible in parts of Chile, Argentina and Antarctica. The July 13th event will be visible in southern Australia and Antarctica. The August 11th eclipse will be visible in parts of northeast Canada, Greenland, extreme northern Europe, northern Russia and northern and eastern Asia. March 20th March equinox, with the Sun crossing the celestial equator from south to north at 1615 UTC, the entire world would witness an equal amount of day and night. It is called the vernal, spring, equinox in the northern hemisphere and the autumnal equinox in the southern hemisphere. April 22nd to 23rd, Lyrid meteor shower. This meteor shower originates from constellation Lyra and is made of dust particles of comet C1861 G1 Thatcher. The meteor shower can produce bright dust trails and will be at its peak on the night of April 22nd. May 9th, Jupiter to shine bright. The biggest planet of our solar system will be well placed for observation as it will be illuminated by the Sun. June 21st, Solstice, called Summer Solstice in the Northern Hemisphere and Winter Solstice in the Southern Hemisphere, on this day the Sun will reach its northernmost point. The day either has the most sunlight of the year, Summer Solstice, or the least, Winter Solstice. July 27th, Mars in opposition, the red planet will be positioned closest to Earth and will be visible throughout the night as the Sun will illuminate it completely. June 28, Strawberry Moon, the June full moon that coincides with the strawberry picking season in North America is called the Strawberry Moon. It's often called the Full Rose Moon in Europe or the Honey Moon. July 28th to 29th, Delta Aquarius Meteor Shower. The meteor shower is produced by debris from Marsden and crack comets. The shower can be witnessed between July 12th and August 23rd, with around 20 meteors per hour visible at its peak on the night of July 28th. August 12th to 13th, Perseids Meteor Shower. The Perseids produces up to 60 meteor showers at its peak from debris of the comet Swift Tuttle. This is one of the most popular meteor showers and will be marked by a dark sky with a crescent moon that will set early in the evening on August 12th. 
August 17, Venus at greatest eastern elongation, the planet will be at its highest point on the horizon and will be well placed for observation as the sunlight will illuminate it. September 7, Neptune reaches opposition, the eighth planet in the solar system, Neptune will be closest to Earth on this day and will shine brightly. The planet will be visible throughout the night. September 23, Equinox, the first day of the autumnal equinox in the northern hemisphere and the vernal equinox in the southern. The phenomenon will occur at 1.54 UTC when the sun will shine directly on the equator, thus creating equal amount of day and night. September 24, Harvest Moon, the September full moon is also referred to as the full corn moon or the barley moon since it marks the time to harvest crops. It's the closest full moon to the equinox. October 23, Uranus reaches opposition, the planet will be completely illuminated by the sun and will be visible as a blue-green dot. Sky gazers can use powerful telescopes to observe the planet. November 5-6, Taurid's Meteor Shower the meteor shower consists of two streams and produces 5 to 10 meteors per hour. Dust from asteroid 2004 TG10 and comet 2 Piang build up the shower that peaks on the night of November 5th. November 17th to 18th, Leonid's meteor shower. This meteor shower is significant because as it peaks after 33 years during which hundreds of comets can be seen in an hour formed from dust of comet Temple Tuttle, this shower will peak on the night of November 17th. November 17th to 18th, Leonid's meteor shower. This meteor shower is significant because as it peaks after 33 years during which hundreds of comets can be seen in an hour formed from dust of comet Temple Tuttle, this shower will peak on the night of November 17th. December 21st, Solstice. The December solstice occurs at 2223 UTC when the sun would have reached its southernmost position in the sky. This marks the first day of winter for the northern hemisphere and the first day of summer for the south.